This is one of the most stunning views in Edinburgh. Welcome back to the channel. Now, I've came up to Calton Hill because the Red Arrows were flying over. So I've came up to take the drone up, but it's too windy. I took the drone up a wee bit and I don't know what kind of footage I got. But I'm going to share with you the Red Arrows flying over Edinburgh just now. What did you think of that? Red arrows flying over, cool eh? Anyway, we're here at Catlin Hill, the beautiful Catlin Hill. We've got Leaf down here. We've got Edinburgh Castle here. Princess Street just here. Absolutely stunning views. This is like one of the best viewing points for pictures. You can see here that this one here is iconic, this picture here. Just take a screenshot. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. You see everyone taking their pictures. Anyway, it's so peaceful up here. If you want to escape the city centre, the busy city centre during the Fringe Festival or any other time of the year, come up here. So we walk, you can bring the car, get a taxi up. You got half a seat. Believe it or not, this is actually an Airbnb. You can actually rent this Airbnb out. Now, I don't know if it's available, but you can actually stay here and have views of the castle and sunset and sunrise every single morning. You have the Lookout Cafe there. And then just down here, you have like the beautiful Fife Castle again. Absolutely gorgeous. And you've got the views from this side, looking at the monuments. Now there's a small island just there and there's a lighthouse on it called Inch Keith Lighthouse. It looks absolutely gorgeous. You can actually get a boat over there. I might actually take a boat over there one time. But I think during school trips, we used to get taken to places like that. Not so much anymore. They've kind of stopped taking kids on trips like that now over to certain areas or anything that might be too dangerous. Back in the old days, we used to be able to go anywhere with maybe just a parent's note. Now it's all insurance stuff and liabilities and honestly, how stunning is it here? Very stunning. Now you've probably noticed now and again when you're here that they have these sections cut off and the grass is growing and growing. So what they do is, because of the amount of people who use this area, tourists, locals, people coming up having picnics, whatever, 
now and again they block off an area, let the grass grow and then cut it and then do another area. So if it starts to get brown, they'll basically cut it away, they'll put seeds in and then they'll let it grow and then they'll do another section, another section, another section. So you've got the National Monument of Scotland just here and then you've got the Nelson Monument. You can actually go up there. Portuguese cannon at Calton Hill. So here is some information regarding the cannon. So what have we got? It's a brass cannon. It's travelled all over the world. It was cast in the 15th century. Um, what else have we got? It was transported to Calton Hill um, a year after the 1886. Where are you going then? There's some history for you. Brass, you wouldn't believe this is brass, eh? Solid as hell. There you go, there's the markings. A lot of history in this gun. I wonder how many people this killed. The fuse. Imagine trying to move this about in the olden days. I mean, the army these days have got it easy compared to in the olden days. So there is some history for you guys. And you've got obviously the incredible views of Catlin Hill. Gorgeous up here. So if you are visiting, it's free. You don't need to worry about paying anything. There's a cafe here, you can get a coffee. You can sit there, let your kids play about respect the area and enjoy the views. Take in Instagram shots like these guys. You know what I mean? <laughs> I can see what they're trying to do there. So cool, honestly, it's so pretty up here. Anyway guys, I'm going to end the video there. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Take care, bye bye.